Y'all, look at this one. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel in today's video well first of all let me introduce myself so let's start over hey y'all welcome back to my channel my name is atia today for those that are new here thank you for tuning in and watching my channel and while you are here do not forget to like share comment and subscribe and as you can tell by the title today we'll be doing some of my amazon favorites and um i believe prime day is coming up on july the 11th and the 12th so i was like this would be a perfect time to show y'all some of my favorites i have a mix of stuff i have some home stuff i have well all of it's home stuff because it's in the home but i have kitchen stuff i have bathroom stuff i have a ton of stuff and some of these things that i'm going to show are too big to hold or they're already installed so i will just insert clips for y'all to see but what i can show y'all i will so anyway enough of me talking let's get into the video so first things first i am loving this what is this salt hair i really don't even know how to pronounce this brand but I just started using this body wash. Um, they have it in Target. Well, I got this one out of Target. They have some great, great scents. I will say at first, I thought this was a little drying and sometimes it still can be. But what I do is I mix it with, I forgot the other um, body wash that went viral on TikTok um, that helps with like back and stuff like that. I, I feel like a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about. But I mix that with this. Y'all end up seeing exactly what I do in my shower routine. But I use this, and this one is in the scent. I believe it's black tag, y'all. It smells so freaking good. Like, if I could put y'all in a manner what it smells like, it's almost like a musk, manly. Like, I'm, call it what you want. I love, like, musky, masculine scents, like, woodsy earthy linen like those type of scents they give me like the fruity and all that mm -mm, mm -mm. but this right here it smells so so good i do not know the price point but it's on my amazon storefront again I, like i said they sell it in target as well i don't know what other retail stores sell it but they also sell it on amazon so it will be in my storefront and also all the links for all these products will be linked below but yeah this is the salt hair body wash and oh yeah another thing i mentioned how about the size of the tube like it's huge so you get a lot for what you're paying for it's 17 fluid ounces so it's a win-win it smells good you get a lot of product and this pump it does not get stuck it's easy to use it's perfect for the shower so yeah next up is this cleaning eight and one cleaning brush i feel like this is something that has went viral too, especially due to TikTok, but it comes with three different brush heads. I don't know if y'all can see it, but ugh. it comes with three different brush heads. I feel like it's a few brush heads. It's like these three, and then it comes with this one, which has a more textured feel, which is probably for like tougher areas. And then you have your regular spinning brush. It comes with like a million different um pieces that you can use and this is the machine and the attachment that comes with it oh and it's like a few more brush heads as well so this product came with a lot of attachments so it was worth it let me get the attachment this is as far as it extends out and then you just take and then you just take this attachment and you just put it on and then you'll hook up your other scrub brushes or whatever you choose to use for whatever you're cleaning. So next up, I have these black, I guess you can call them um, bath towel holders or like your robe, bath robe holders. Um, they are this matte black finish. They came in a set of four. I just like the finish on them. It gives a crisp, like modern ish look so i haven't hung them up yet but got these off of amazon and you know i love good robe so i was like you know what let's actually get some we can hang these on being that we just moved so yeah i got these off of amazon 
the look is sleek it's black so of course it'll go with anything so yeah and again like i said it came in a pack of four it was super inexpensive but yeah this is just it's nothing really much to this product it's just the look and the make and the style the shapes and yeah that's what sold me on it so next up still continuing kind of like in the bathroom category is this necessary deodorant y'all have seen me use this in a ton of my videos a ton of my shower routines this is the eucalyptus i'm not sure if they have different scents that i'm not sure of but this y'all first of all i had this for a while and as y'all can see it has not moved like it's pretty much still full um but I don't know what they put in this, but it helped my underarms lighten up tremendously. Like, no deodorant has ever done this. I will say, being that it's more of a different type of deodorant, more natural um, deodorant, it will take a while for your body to get used to. And also, it is a roll-on. So, if you're not into that or you're not at, or you're not not, what? Or if you're not into gel deodorant, then you may not like this. Um, I really wasn't into it when I first started because, again, it's gel deodorant. I feel like it's very rare that people use gel deodorant anymore. But once you keep constantly putting it on, I started putting it on and applying it at nighttime and will sleep throughout the night with it. Um, if I'm going out somewhere and I know I'm going to be doing a lot or a lot of sweating or it's going to be hot, I'll not put this on. Do not put this on. I will highly not... Mm -mm. but if you just want to try it i would highly recommend just trying it at nighttime that's what i started off doing now it's to the point i actually can put this on and go out with it so my body has kind of adjusted to deodorant just like with any other natural deodorant but yeah so try this out the pro about this is that it helps lighten your armpits tremendously and of course when you're wearing your bikini you want to put your arm up and it's super super dark I don't know if it's a eucalyptus or not. Um, I got this from Naturally Sunny on YouTube. She was talking about this brand and I got it. I kind of didn't use it in the beginning, but now I can use it on a daily and consistent basis. And yeah, this is, I highly recommend this. Next going into, I feel like this can still go into like bathroom-ish, whatever category. Um, are these Hum SOS PMS gummies. The way I didn't feel a cramp, I didn't feel bloated, none of it. This was really, really good. And I got this from, um, they sell these in Target, but again, most of this stuff was on Amazon as well. So I did find these on Amazon. I was able to link them. Like I said, everything will be linked down below. I, like I mentioned in my vlog, I take these every day as if it was a vitamin. I don't take them a week before my cycle. I don't take them the week, just take them the week of. I take these every day in the morning, two a day. Really help. And they have, let's see, they have chaseberry, cranberry, and vitamin B6. So it says it supports hormonal imbalance. It helps relieve PMS symptoms. It is 40 in here. I wish they would come out with a bigger jar. I don't know if they have a bigger jar. I haven't seen a bigger jar. But, yeah. That's the only con I will say about this. I just wish it came in a bigger packaging. But, I mean, it's fine to just keep bringing up on it when it's a good product. But, yeah. I highly recommend this for my girls. My next Gigi Gadget that I love that we got, I got for us in our new home was this soap dispenser yes it's extra but so am i i got this soap dispenser i got it off amazon i seen it on tiktok and i was like okay that'll do and i'm a german phobe so any way that i can prevent people from constantly touching stuff after they've just used the restroom i will get it so this soap dispenser you just stick your hand under it it comes out just like if you're in a public restroom and it also and it also shows the temperature on it for some reason the temperature is constant showing celsius i have to read the direction to figure out how to flip it but yeah the numbers that you see showing up when i put my hands underneath it that's celsius so let's just disregard i think they have a longer rectangular one you should see it in the link that i give y'all that one i believe shows like the time the dates and the temperature this one just shows the temperature it's a different style this one is more round um but it's convenient and when a lot of people come over the house they love it 
because it's something you never see in anybody else's home. I mean, where do you see your soap dispenser? That you just put your hand on and foam soap comes out nowhere. It's very rare. So, yeah, that was something I was obsessed with. But, yeah. Next up are these Philips electronic rechargeable toothbrushes. They come with the holder. They, Of course, they come obviously with the toothbrush. And they come with the charger. You're just responsible for the block that you put the USB in. Um, I like that it protects the mouth part. So all you do is you just press down on it and it pops out. And you just pull it out and you stick it back in. And it's firm so you don't have to worry about slipping and sliding, especially when traveling. And you just close it and it's sealed and you have your toothbrush to go and it's cute. And your charger port is at the bottom. It's super easy, super easy to open. Um, they have a groove that's meant for you to just stick your finger in, pop it open, charge it. The charging does not take all day at all. Um, this is actually our second pack. I just bought us some new ones since moving, but this is our second pack. We've been using these for a while. They have these in all different colors as well, but of course black is just chic. So, so anyway, moving along to kitchen stuff. So... I recently got these reusable um, bags. They come in a small, then you have your medium size, and then you have your gallons. Um, I just bought these in bulk. I just upped the quantity a little bit and got enough for us to use. These gallon bags I have been using for fruit, and they do hold a lot. They do hold a lot. Um, as far as how you keep them up, the maintenance on them, you can't put them in a dishwasher. It would destroy them. Made that mistake. You have to hand wash them and air dry them. The only thing I'm trying to figure out how to do with them is, well, try to do better with them is air drying. I feel like it'll just be better with, after you wash them, just go ahead and dry them out in the inside and then, you know, put them wherever you wish. But these are super, super eco-friendly, which is a plus. So, they're good. Next up is this little soap tray holder. Um, if you've seen this, then you know. I just, basically what people do is they just sit this on their kitchen sink. Usually it's in a kitchen sink and they'll just put like your soap, your sponge, or any type of piece of whatever that you would want to. Add just something different to your kitchen or to break the texture up. Um, I got this off a couple off of Amazon. I cannot find, for some reason, I cannot find the one that I got. Um, but I did link one that was very similar. People use these for any type of things. People use it for like their coffee station. I just happen to use it over there by my sink. And I'll insert a clip as well as, how, as to how I set the area up. So yeah this is just something simple basic something cute to add some texture into your kitchen like i said i just sit my soap on it i sit two different types of sponges on it and that's pretty much it now next up are going to be a few of my favorite drinking glasses first up are these ribbed i don't even know what you would call these like cocktail glasses i'm assuming yeah these are like ribbed cocktail glasses as y'all know the rib look has become a thing um I've had these for a while. They came in a set of two. Actually, I got these from CB2. But Amazon has the exact same ones for a way, way, way cheaper price. Trust me, it's the same quality. It's just glass. Um, I just happened to be in the store and got them while I was in there. But literally, they have the exact same ones. And you would get way more for your money. But these are super cute. I feel like... For a girl's night or date night, if you just want to make some real cute drinks and put them in some real cute glasses. These are super, super cute. These may be my favorite glasses that I own. Um, it's another real cute one that I'm going to show you all too. But as far as drinking glasses, I don't know. I'm big on drinking glasses. I feel like it just brings, I don't know. It just brings something different to a drink. Like just having a cute cup but make the drink taste good for some people. Like some people have to see a presentation to trust that what you made is good. So presenting in a cute glass, 
Next up are some more rib glasses that I got from Amazon. I think we bought these separate, but I know on Amazon they sell them in a pack of two and they come one size and you know. So this one, I will say it's kind of small. It's kind of small. The picture can be deceiving because it appears to be way larger than when it comes in the mail. You like this little cup. But I feel like this is more so for like a if you want to do juicing or like a morning shot or like a, just a small cup of coffee. And this is beneficial. And this one is more so for smoothies. It's not that much bigger, but you'll get more out of this cup than you will this one. But again, the rib look clearly is in style. And I thought these were super, super cute. Um, it's rare that I even really use these. Um, but again, they're cute. They're drinking glasses. And you never know. May have company over and these glasses may become beneficial come in handy so i always like keep cute glasses on hand and these are super cute ribbed glasses and they were inexpensive so my next glass that i'm obsessed with i just got it um for our home it's like just the flat base of it and the way it points at the top is so freaking cute like I literally put anything in this glass. I put, I've put coffee in this glass. I've put a smoothie in this glass. I've put a cocktail in this glass. This glass is so cute. And the base is, it has a wider base and then it gets slim as it goes to the top. So it actually holds a lot. It holds enough. Um, it's super, super cute. They came in a set of four. And yeah, I'm obsessed with these. They're super cute, super small, but beneficial. And then my next glass is an oldie but goodie. It's like the canned shaped glasses. Um, I feel like this has been a glass that has been known for a while now, but I forgot to store it in here anyway because there are some deals on it for the Prime Day. So yeah, it's just your typical canned glass that I feel like everybody has seen and know it at this point. But yeah, it just... It's cute. It's still beneficial. I still use them frequently. We have a ton of them now. Um, but yeah, this is super cute. This is my first, first glass. I remember when I first got this glass. This was the first one I was obsessed with because of the shape and the idea that it literally looks like a canned soda, but it's just glass and you it doesn't have a top to it. It was super cute and creative. But yeah, this is another one of my favorite glasses. But but next up is this gold silverware set that I got from Amazon. It comes with two forks, two spoons, and knives. Um, as you can see, it's versatile by based on size. They're super, super cute, and they're super fancy. Like, having gold hardware. I keep saying hardware because I'm used to hardware being gold and not silverware. But having gold silverware is just... It just puts the icing on the meal. It's just something about gold silverware on black plates it just it makes your food and experience feel very upscale so that was the idea that i kind of thought of when going for that color um silver is cute but silver doesn't give like gold does. you got a lot of compliments on it because again it's rare that you see gold silverware in a home now but they're super super cute beneficial and this that little tiny spoon is like the perfect spoon for like your tea, your coffee, anything that you want to mix. And then of course you have your bigger spoon and then you have your fork and knife. But it's like that. Next up is the paper towel holder. I feel like this is another thing that a lot of people have been getting recently too, back into. It was the paper towel holder that as y'all can see sticks to the cabinet or some people put it below their sink. I feel like it looks more tucked away opposed to having it on the normal paper towel holder that sits actually on the countertop. It's kind of like up and out of the way, depending on where you put it. Um, but yeah, it's nothing really to it. It just comes with adhesive. You put the adhesive off. The adhesive has to be super strong because it has not fallen yet. Um, so that's a plus. And it comes with two adhesive sticks. So you just put it on there. You press it. Please follow the directions because it does tell you to once you apply the adhesive and put it underneath your cabinets, or if you choose to put it underneath your cabinet sinks, you do have to let it adhere to it for a few minutes and then you can apply your paper towels or whatever you choose to um, put on it. But yeah, like I said, it's super beneficial. It's 
tucked away. It doesn't make your kitchen look overly crowded because paper towels are just, mm -hmm. so yeah. And then another thing that I forgot to mention attached to the silverware is this silverware holder that I got. It's kind of like bamboo-ish color. Um, it came closed, but you have the option to widen it and put a few other silverware or utensils in it, which was a plus for me. Um, it has a lot of space. It fits your standard drawer. So if you have a standard drawer, you don't really have to size it because again, you have the option to close it or to open it. So if your drawer is a little bit wider like mine, of course I had to open it, but if it's smaller, you'll just close it tighter. So anything that doesn't require me having to measure or anything is a plus, so highly recommend. Next up in the kitchen category, still staying within the kitchen or what I have in my kitchen, are these black pendant lights. I believe some people are shocked, still shocked that these come from Amazon. But when I tell y'all do not sleep on Amazon, do not sleep. You will literally find a lot of your household items from Amazon. Literally, I just tell people, read the reviews and trust it'll work out. So yeah, we got these two black pendant lights that are super, super cute. When people come in, they compliment them. They give off perfect lighting. It's just like your regular light that you would get from anywhere else. They're just way cheaper and less expensive. So it's budget, way, way more budget friendly. Um... They come in two colors. I believe they come in black and then they come in like your regular straw color because it is made out of straw. And honestly, it feels like it's made out of real straw from when you touch it. Um, but it is super cute. I like the fact that they're open. They don't feel closed off. And so it allows for that excess light to like shine through them. It's Like I said, it's super cute. And of course, they're black. It's going to be a lot of black stuff in here because... I'm just obsessed with the color, obviously, but yeah. Next up is my spice rack drawer. Um, of course, you I ordered the spice jars as well as the insert off of Amazon. I will say before ordering your inserts to measure your um, cabinets because that one that there is a little bit trickier than the silverware holder that I mentioned. Um, some of them can be too big and some of them can be way too small depending on the type of space you're trying to work with. Being that our cabinet is like super long, we were just okay with it filling up half of it. As y'all can see in the video, we just used the other half for something else. Um, but it's super beneficial. Being able to have your spices right next to the stove is way easier than storing it in the pantry and you have to walk over to get it versus it being pretty much right below you when you're trying to season up your meats, your vegetables, or whatever you choose to eat. And as far as the holders that I got, super, super cute. But what I will say is, I believe the brand that I got, they're, they come with three stickers. They are super, super cute, super aesthetically pleasing. And just to open up a drawer and see everything organized and all your spices and all the colors and the labels and the, it's just everything. Moving right along to another piece that we have in our kitchen is this black faucet. I'm not going to lie. The faucet is cheap, of course, because it's Amazon. And when we first got it, it was like, okay, the look being that it's matte, have the matte finish is black again. Um... But like literally not even a week went by and the switch that switches the um, little water thingies, it stopped working. And it was like, mm. so in our mind we was like, oh, well, we're going to head to home, head to, head to have to home, have to head. So in our mind, we were like, we have to head to either Home Depot or Lowe's to actually get a more expensive one. Because y'all, come to find out, these faucets that they sell at Home Depot and Lowe's, you're paying like 200 plus off rip. So we were just like, absolutely not. So for some strange reason, we got it to work. Literally, it works perfectly fine now. The water pressure on it is great, just like any other faucet. So I would just say, just, just play with it. That's all I can say. But it was a piece that is below where the water runs out if you were just unscrew that screw it back on i don't know what that did to it but it seemed to work like i said the water pressure came out fine it's just like a regular sink just for a cheaper price so get that 
Next up are these cookware, super, super cute, of course, again, black. Um, but they do have it like in a cream or whitish color. And they also have them, um, if y'all know this style of a pot, and you know what brand this is, and you know all the colors that it comes in. But this is super cute. They are non-stick and they actually cook very, very good. But yeah, this is just, we have, this is one of many, but it's just your typical pan. I love that the lid with this company, the lids to all of them are super, super flat. So they're easy to pack away and store away. Like even if you um have the holder, the lid holder to your pots and pans, this fits in it perfectly because again, the way they made it is super flat. This is one thing that I loved about this brand because it's easy for these to get stored in multiple places. You can store a lot of them in one spot due to these leaves being flat. And the way they just created it was just, they thought about it. So get you some new pots and pans. In my kitchen, I have these, I guess you would call them food storage holders um and they came with these labels that you see on them as well of course again it's just for the aesthetics but i feel like just a bamboo lid and being as clear glass is just it just it just does it just does something different opposed to going to your pantry and you have just the boxes and all these different it's it's when it's too much going on it just doesn't look presentable it doesn't look organized so putting these in our pantry definitely helped judge it up a little bit of course that's not the only thing you can include in it but as far as like using it for your pasta your rice your beans it's very cute it's very aesthetically pleasing and again it just makes your pantry and your storage area look way more presentable when presenting it to other people basic so now moving right along into household furniture slash items, if we'll call it. Um, this chair that I'm currently sitting in, but I'm inserting a clip for y'all as well. This chair we got off Amazon. The color, the fabric, everything about it I love. It is a cute accent piece. It actually gives you that throwback feel. Um, it has a very different look to it which is what caught my eye because i love accent pieces that look to other people that may look weird but look cool to me um the back on it i will say is low but we actually a lot of people come and they sit in it and we haven't got any complaints about it um the cushion on is pretty good as well for it to be the price that it was like i said it's just an accent chair no i'm not going to get a couch even though amazon has good couches too that i've heard of but like I said, it's good. It's a good armrest chair. What I would say about this chair, it's perfect for you to rest your arms on. Like the arms on this chair literally fall. It's just it puts it puts them right where you need them. So the color is everything. I believe it comes in white, it comes in black, and it comes in this green color. I'm not sure if anyone else sells any different colors, but we went with the green color. I got them in two. Moving into decorative pieces, which is still fall into the home furniture-esque category. Um, I got these, let me take them out. I got these little beads with tassels on them. They're super, super cute. Um, most people, they'll normally put them on their coffee table or as y'all saw, I had them in this black pot and they're just cute little accent pieces like I said, always adding pieces. Oh, Jesus. Like I said, adding little pieces here and there that can judge up the space is important to me, whether it's big or small. So coming across these, people tend to use them to like run out of vases or sit on books or anything. Or you just sit them flat on the surface of whatever piece of furniture you have. But I chose to sit them in this little holder or whatever you wish to call it. And they just hang out of it and they run onto the furniture. As you can see behind me, they just add a cute little piece. And speaking of pieces, while we're here, this other piece of furniture, which I will be inserting a clip, but which you see behind me as well, 
Um, this is maybe one of my favorite bosses that I have in here. Um, just the rugged clay worn look is what I love on a lot of pieces of furniture nowadays. Um, I don't know. It just, it just does something different. It brings texture to the room and this color was super, super perfect. So of course I always tell people check Amazon first because normally you'll get your cheaper deals, but this is cute as well to add to your buffet. You can add it. I see people even add it goes for, for, for ugh. I see people add it even going as far as to your kitchen on your island, which I'm highly considering putting one in ours. I just haven't found the right one yet. But yeah, this one I just stuck on my buffet along with other accent pieces. This is like your must have piece because when it comes to what you include on your display or where you want to add your accents, I like to have volume. I like to have big pieces, small pieces, books, as you can see behind me. <laughs> All that stuff. So this definitely is like one of my favorite, favorite pieces. I love it. But yeah. And while we're on this, I think I included a clip in it. But if not, as y'all can see behind me as well, the little faux leaves that come out of it. It's actually a trend now, clearly. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all see it. But that also adds some green to the room. So that's what I got it for. Just to add a pop of color because you can have a room that's so neutral and it can become dull so just taking like a simple and nowadays literally people are just buying one stem of it and sticking it in the pot and that's what i did and it looks perfectly fine normally they come pretty full so just adding one or two makes a world of difference and it's just a cute little touch to what's already there next up is another cute accent piece um i just love the texture of this first of all i love the texture i love the color it's just the tones of it is it just screams me um some people do a little twig or two coming out of it i didn't um but due to me already having other stuff on my buffet as y'all can see behind me but this was a cute little addition to it like i said just finding little pieces here and there holding on to them it would really be beneficial because as you get furniture down the line each thing is going to need a piece some type of accent piece so I just try to collect pieces that I like when I see them. This was one of them and it was super, super cute and it blends and goes with our furniture in our family room perfectly. So I would highly recommend this and the texture on it. It just feels very, very realistic. So that was a plus for me as well. On to another piece are these black candle holders that I got. Um, these are just like the perfect touch to any room that you want to add a little moodiness, sexiness to. Like, it just does the job. And it kind of takes me back to the past of when people used to use candlesticks instead of just, as y'all see behind me, just a regular candle. It just adds a little bit more depth and dimension. So I added those two along my buffet as well. And it was the cutest touch. And... I believe they sell these in black and in gold. The gold is perfect too. But yeah, it just, again, it's just something else to add to give the room a little more oomph. But it was a plus. And next up are these black hardware that I got to interchange on our buffet. Um, Just switching our hardware on a furniture piece would do it. It would make it look brand new. So that's what we did. We got this black hardware and we changed all of our knobs. And it actually made it look a lot better. It made it look more modern. So that's one little tip. If I could drop a gem in this video, it would be old furniture. Don't get rid of it. Just replace it with either new hardware, sand it down, or find some type of way to refurbish it. Because trust me, you can flip and flop stuff and make it exactly into what you want. And it will fit into your home. So that's what we did. Like I said, we just switched out my old hardware on this and put black on there y'all probably got a glimpse of it in my last vlog because i did include that as well but yeah that was just another little nice little piece to add in the room as well next up are these nightstand dresses that we got uh, we got these actually off of home depot but they literally have the exact same ones off amazon i did not notice it until after the fact but these are literally the exact same ones the exact same color exact same hardware everything um they are super cute they're small they don't take up too much space i hate bulky dressers you hate bulky dresses like i do 
then you'll love these. Um, I love the little cut open at the top. I will say it is hard to try to figure out what to put in the openings, but we'll figure it out. It's, and adding these side bedroom, it just elevated it along with everything else that we already had. And the color that this nightstand comes in, it can clash with a few things, but for the most part, I see this color working well in a lot of spaces with the wood that they chose. Um, putting it together, super easy. Doesn't take anyone to help. Like, it's super easy to put together. Um, they're very, very lightweight, which is a good thing. So, you can move them. They're not hard to move when cleaning. And it's just a cute little extra piece to add to your room. Next up, it's like a two-in-one. I We got this headboard as well as the duvet and the cover. Um, as well as the pillowcase and the sheets. <laughs> All of that that you see in this clip is from Amazon. Um, like I said, it will be linked below. The duvet cover is so, the color on it is so cute. It puts you more into like a rustic, I don't know, it's just vintage. It gives you like a vintage feel. Like I said, the colors, everything as y'all can see. I just, the picture didn't do it justice online, but having it in person, I really, really like how it's had into our space. Um, and then this is actually my first time with a duvet, so it was a learning experience but again it's super super cute and with a duvet you can switch it out throughout the season so if you want to get a another color another color or cover all you have to do is unbutton the buttons that come on the sets and replace it with a new one that's what i love about duvets again like i said i've never had a duvet until now but a duvet is now going to have me in a chokehold moving forward because just the luxury of being able to switch out stuff because i mean you have your seasons you have fall you have christmas you may want different colors in your bedroom so this is very beneficial i love it i'm obsessed with the color so it was a tnt and as far as the hairboard goes i mean it's just a typical black hairboard um it does what it's supposed to do it's there <laughs> it supports so so far it's been working out for us but these sheets these sheets I feel like this is one of the best brands on Amazon to get sheets from. Um, they're not hot. Any of that. And they come in numerous colors. We just happen to get them in this brown, this chocolate brown. And it's so, so pretty. But yeah, like I said, this whole, this whole set was a plus. And I was so shocked because, again, it's Amazon. But like I said, just re read your reviews, y'all. Read your reviews. Trust me. Read your reviews. And get you some pieces for cheap. I knew it was one thing I was forgetting. Going back to with the candle holders, I actually got the candles from Amazon as well. And they actually are non-drip candles. Never use any non-drip candles. And yes, they literally are non-drip candles. Like we have burned these for hours. Not a drip. They, of course, they die down. And they shrink, but as far as drip, none of that. And that's one thing that I used to be afraid of when it comes to using candle sticks, opposed to just having your regular wax candle sitting in a jar. Um, with candle sticks, they do tend to drip, and then you have to worry about the hassle of it drying or falling on furniture, good furniture that, and then getting it up is just a hassle. But these, y'all, they do not melt. They do not drip anything. So these. And they come in, I think it was like a pack of eight, I believe, which I didn't know. I actually thought I would have seen a few, but they come in a pack of eight. It's a plus for me because they don't drip. So y'all make sure y'all get y'all some. Moving on to our curtain rods. They're just chic. It's really nothing much to it. They're just chic black. I love the round finishes that are on the edges of them. They look super, super good in our home. As y'all can see in the clip, but I'm also looking at them because they're behind me. I mean, in front of me as well. They are super, super cute. Again, a curtain rod is a curtain rod. No matter where you get it from, they pretty much all look the same. Do they work the same? Probably not. But these, they have actually been holding up super, super well. We have them in our family room. We have them in our bedroom. Working fine. So, that's another good one. Right along, this next category is just going to be a mix of like little extra pieces. First up is my handy dandy lacy. 
this is what I use for not me didn't hit myself in the face this is what I use for my um as my hard drive for my YouTube videos this I wish I knew about this before my last hard drive this one appears to hold a lot more and the speed on it is super super great I have not had any problems since using it I will say of course keep up with how you manage your storage or whatever but this is super cheap way cheaper than all these other hard drive brands um and yeah it's just it's cute it's compact get you a few of them if you will but they are on sale for prime day i did notice that they are slightly discounted and you can get these off amazon like i said it's very beneficial and this is what i use to store all my videos and my content on next are these lashes that i got off amazon and they're currently the lashes that i have on y'all these these are actually my first time putting them on because i've been ordered these i forgot where i saw these um or where i got these from but these literally give the look of lash extensions to a T. Like, all the time, I mean, I want to sit and get my lashes done. It's just, it's a lot and it's pricey. To be honest, it's very, very pricey. Nothing against the lash tags because I love a good lash extension. But these right here literally do just, just good. And they look exactly like lash extensions. Like, I feel like that's a win-win. Um, they come in a pack of seven. And of course, as always, you can reuse your lashes. So these should hold you pretty, pretty long. Like I said, they're super, super wispy, y'all. They're super curly. I don't know if y'all can see them, but they are super cute. I like how they are cat eyed. That's my go-to look when I get lash extensions. So being that these are cat eyed, they just, I was like, you know what? Let me get these. And I actually thought they weren't going to do what they were supposed to do. But they literally gave what they were supposed to. Because now, these are where I'm going to be getting my lashes from. Amazon and the brand. I don't know the brand. I think it's Poop Lunch, which is crazy. That's a weird name. But anyway, um, they're just regular false mink lashes. But um, when I tell y'all, if you just get you a pair, you'll understand what I'm saying. But when I tell y'all... These look just as good as lash extensions. And it's way, way cheap on the price. You don't have to sit. You just stick your little lash on. And you're good to go. You can head out the door. So these, I'm constantly, they 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 have an investor in me. Because these, since I put these on today, these are my new favorite lashes. I will only be wearing these lashes. So that should tell you something. Next up are these viral powder puffs that i'm pretty sure you have seen everywhere um and they are on amazon they come you can get them a few to a lot in a pack um i will say that you do have to wash these opposed to just having to dispose them and you know you're done with them um if you are more of a germaphobe and you hate the idea of <laughs> having to Put these in a washer dryer or I feel like you don't even have to put them in a washer dryer. You can just hand wash these. Um, they're super beneficial. The way that these are made, they are meant to fit perfectly underneath your eye. And it does the job. It, I use these for fitting, pressing my powder in underneath my eye. And when contouring underneath my jawbone. Bone. Like, not my jawbone. My cheekbone. Get it right. But these are super, super cute. They're super, super soft. And like I say, I just use these to press powder in underneath my eyes and to deeper contour underneath my cheeks. And it does the job. It's beneficial. It's a perfect fit. And yep. Next up are these earrings that I currently have on. These gold little baby hoops. Um, They actually sell these individually or you can get them, of course, in like your small medium and then your larger size these are cute they always look super super cute with ponytails and or just with a when you snatch your hair back and you put on some gold hoops it's just but i more so like the thicker look of hoops now so yeah these are super super cute they actually look like little dupes of other high brand earrings i love these these are my go-to's when i want to wear a little bit more mm. and next up are these silver i don't even know what you would call these i guess teardrop 
pieces. I will say I did not know that they were this small. But going back, you can um, upsize. So I'll be going back and repurchasing a bigger pair. But these are super, super cute. You can wear them up or you can wear them down by that meaning. You can wear this with a dress outfit. You can wear this with a more chill type outfit, depending on what look you're going for. It's super cute. They're like studs, but with a little added more to it. So next up are my new thing to add to any piece of furniture or a table or anything throughout the house are these books that I got off Amazon. Not only are they cute and aesthetically pleasing, of course, but they actually are filled with a lot of great home ideas as far as organizing, as far as decorating, storage, all the types of stuff. Um, I try to find books that are beneficial and they will actually be useful and also will tie in to add in a nice aesthetic throughout the space. So these were super, super cute. They were, again, inexpensive because we're not trying to break the bank. They were inexpensive and like I said, they're cute to add and a little nice little touch to any little space. So y'all, we have reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed all of these pieces that I showed y'all. Um, and hopefully y'all can find something that you liked in this video to add within your home. While you are here again, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Everything that I mentioned will be linked down below as well as my storefronts. You can shop these deals again like i said amazon prime day is july 11th and the 12th so be sure to head over there on those two days to get some steals on some good deals um, with a lot of these cute little pieces again like i said thanks for watching and i will see y'all in my next one